Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today's video we are attempting to do the Rogue Lands main speed run with Salvador. I have fresh times up at the top. Let's see how we can do. The time to be on Krieg is 3838, but I wanted to get a fresh time slot for Sal so I can try to gauge myself against, you know, the same Vault Hunter over and over again. Let's roll. Okay, start the timer now. And it's rolling. Let's do this. So Salvador for me, oh, a fire burst grenade could really help us out. I'm looking for, yes, a nice model one pistol to put into my left hand. And then I'm, I'm, I'm not against going pistol built. I would definitely do it. I would not against it at all. Come on. Fight for my lifetime, not the best. Melee shield, not the best. Okay, we like to have five or six shots in that, that reload speed, the magazine size is one of my favorites. Okay, let's do it. So for our, our left hand weapon is going to be this phobia. Right hand weapon is going to be this apparatus. And then we are going to take a... Honestly, TDR Chucks might be the way to go here. For a third spot. And then this launcher. All right, first five points. It's a difficult decision. But I want to get down this middle tree. Let's go fill to the brim. All right, we can do this. 38-38 was the Krieg time. I don't foresee us having a better time than Krieg, per se. But we can try. All right, we can try. Let's get into Gunzerk right away here. Get a little bit closer. There we go. That should be enough damage. I'm actually going to run up top here and try to get myself my hands on a higher damage weapon right off the rip. Using this pressure plate. Up. Good jump. Okay, a synergy pistol. That's what I like to see. I do like the synergy pistols. Homing fire bursts are going to help me out here quite a bit, I believe. Okay, come on, bring it on. Fire bursts, again, these are just fleshy enemies, so they're going to take a lot of damage from these fire burst grenades if they actually end up landing. I'm a big, big synergy guy when it comes to Hyperion pistols. I think they're really good. We go 8 out of 10. Ooh, a nice, ba a nice bandit launcher. Not bad. Okay. Gunzerk. And I'm not... I don't think I'm going to be taking... I'm not going to be... You know, wasting my time between rounds here looting so much instead what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna hope that my two guns right now can hold me off until i get uniques and then we just continue on all right bring it on homie i do want to get up to the relics on this stage Ooh, inflammable turtle shield that might be nice can't be can't be on fire that's a hard counter to this guy right here Hard counter. Later, kid. Okay, destroy that spiderling. Easy kills coming in. Okay, I might also skip the relics as well. I mean, the first raid boss might be a little bit tough without as many uniques, but... There we go. As soon as we kill him, go. Three, two, one. Nice, okay. Three minutes and 15 seconds so far is not bad. All right, Forge can take some time. Which is not that great, but let's go ahead and grab points. One into five or six shots. One is the steady she goes, even though that it's going to hurt on my Hyperion gun, but that's fine. I'm not, I'm not planning on using Hyperion guns all the time. So I don't, I don't really need the accuracy. Okay. Good. Again, the slag is important, and so is the, the right-hand weapon. Good stuff. 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Last longer is helping me. Keep my guns work up longer. Increase my DPS. Increase our clear times. Good stuff. I want to get this relic behind me. If it's pistol gun damage or something like that, be sick. Slag damage is super nice. And max health, I think, is super nice as well. Keep me alive. Keep me alive. Later. Save that round. Save that candy for next round. Come on. Get me there. Not bad. 
depend on the synergy i think that the synergy does have some good qualities i probably should have just kept on the dps here there we go where is my candy okay there we go three two one stop the timer for t mobbing tier one that's good for 451 is not a bad time okay we have a candy let's go ahead and just try to start destroying these lads as quickly as possible here comes mad dog kill him there we go destroy the tankier lads while we have the power up active i think it just went away and points in the epikaya matter here i probably should have been chucking from the start Where's my double grenades? I must uh, next next guns are probably it becomes active. Good good grenades good grenades. Stop picking up my guns, especially uniques. Thank you. Yeah, let's let's just fire burst this guy and slag him up. No slag, crazy. Okay, nine out of ten, we roll three, two, one. Okay, the rot gut distiller. We shouldn't have the hardest time in this fight. Let's take our points though. Yippee Cooldown. Cool and the next time we'll have what it takes. Come on, where's my slag? Where's my slag? There we go. Get you to about half, and then we'll swap targets to the other one. That way, that we don't get any revives off. There we go. Start chucking some nades here. The fire burst should be helpful. Toss a nade on top of the on top of the body. Good. Going down is very very bad, but we are alive. No revive for you. Okay. Wait for the other guys to despawn. Take my loot. Take my loot. Looking around. Don't see anything that great. Good. Ethereal gift box mate. Good one. Something good for my left hand. Yeah, I think a good touch makes a lot of sense for healing purposes. Number four slot is now going to be the creamer. Okay, Orphan Maker it makes a lot of sense for my left hand as well. What I might do is go Orphan Maker left. Orphan Maker left. And good touch right. And then have something for slagging as well. There we go. Spend a little bit extra time there, but I think it's worth it to get a little bit organized. There we go. What is it? 739 for tier 1 boss isn't, isn't so bad. We definitely want to hit box here. Um, I'll take a Tunguska. Good for fight for your life. Hmm... Volcano and a hot mama. I think I want to do one more pull. One more pull. Only three iridium left. I think a B shield matters. Let's roll. Let's see what we can do with the B shield here. Um, Take the action skill. And then head over into this right side tree. Critical hit damage weapon swap speed. Come on. Three, two, one. Okay, we get Craw again. The last time I got... Craw is a little bit tough because of his... Immunity phases. Come on now. I probably should just go for slag. Make sure that gun's in our left hand, though. All right, bring it on. Hopefully this guy loses his... Yeah, this Orphan Maker definitely is doing some good deeps. Definitely doing some good deeps. Especially with the B shield going. If I can keep it if I can keep it active and rolling. Not bad. Or for maker plus B shield. It's a nice little combo, actually. Especially because I don't have to take damage from it. Because when you hold it in your left hand, you don't. When you hold it in your left hand, you don't uh, take damage from the Orphan Maker, which is a really nice quality of life feature. Nice buff, to be honest with you. Okay, our boy's back. There we go. 
Get B-Shield procs while we can. There we go. He lost his other claw. Okay. He should be going into his immunity phase again shortly. There, there it is. We've had only, we've only had one Gunzerk this whole time, which has been nice. CP Kaye. Although it does get diminishing, uh, diminishing returns, it's been doing quite a nice job keeping us topped in, in, in inside of Gunzerk for longer, which is nice. Destroy this guy in the sky. There we go. B shield, of course, very important. Getting knocked about, which def which is our B shield down. It's almost like this guy is designed to counter the B shield. Okay, just while we can, get the, get the B shield procs off. Uh, we take some damage there. We should have been should have done enough damage to get into immunity phase. Yeah, we did. Nice. Can you go back down. There we go. My last run that I tried to do with Krieg, I actually, I didn't, I'm not uploading it, but I got soft locked here. I used the Mopey's candy to throw my axes at him. I think it might have bugged him out because he, he kept his immunity phase. It's happened to me once before on axe then. Okay. Once our Gunzark does go down, we have another one ready. I probably don't need the extra healing. In fact, I probably will just swap to my slag weapon. I think it makes a little bit more sense. Okay. Come on. Show me that damage. Show me that damage. Come on, Orphan Maker. You're supposed to be top one. Top one weapon. Okay, back into Gunzerk. Immediately. You guys can chill out. How about that? There we go. Oh, we got my B-Shield back up. It was back up for a second there. Okay, come on. Come on, Kraw, go down. I'm a little bit of a low roll to get Kraw, but you know what? He goes down. Let's check our loot real fast. See if we got anything good. Doesn't look like it. Kraw, how could you do this to me? Not only do you waste my time, but you don't give me anything good. Antagonist or an evolution? Antagonist or an evolution? I think evolution does better because I already have access to slags I'm playing Salvador okay 12 minutes 26 seconds isn't the fastest but ho luckily I'm a beast at this puzzle mini game right left left right left left right there we go save some time on that mini game hit the timer or there we go. Yeah, hit the timer. And now we are on to tier two mobs at 1251. It's not it's definitely not faster than my my Krieg runs, but it's gonna be fun to set times with different characters and see how they all kind of stack up. If I can actually beat the dragons. I will be posting close attempts. You don't have to worry about that. Close attempts will be getting posted. Make sure the orphan maker. Oh, I got it in the wrong hand. Come on, swap me. It's not swapping. I feel like sometimes the guns swap and sometimes they don't. There we go. Come on. Get the kill. Thank you. I would like to get the Borderlands symbol here because I need a deputy's badge as quickly as possible to pair up my Orphan Maker. Come on, get there. Kill him. There we go. Okay. I don't know what the Borderlands symbol is on this map. Hopefully, I think it might be over here. There we go. I'm, I might get put down here, but I have a Tunguska if it comes down to it. Yep, yeah, might have to use it here. For sure. Okay, good. Tunguska does a great job there. Got some homing, homing fire burst grenades. Oh, vault symbol. Where did you go? Is it back here? Hoping that my fire burst grenades can clear up the stage for me. While I I'll look around for the vault symbol. I don't see it though. I don't know where they are in every single stage. Come on, fire burst grenades. Are you, are you slacking on the job or what? Get this guy slagged up and then. Orphan maker him. 
slagged up, slagged up, Orphan Maker. 14 and 15. Where's this last lad? Right here. Come on, get us there, get us there. Okay. Not the fastest round, but we made it through. Sawtooth Cauldron. I'm getting closer to my shot, which is going to help out a lot. Let's take... Locked and loaded. All right, come on. Yeah, we should have some Goliath Blasters probably coming up. Come on, Orphan Maker. Get the job done here. Good. Man, it's not it's not pumping out nearly enough deeps. Not nearly enough deeps. I go down. Then Gusk me. Okay, yeah. for some reason that's not working. We're back. Reload my Tenguska because it needs to get reloaded. I know where the Borderlands symbol is here, so I'm gonna go grab that. Alright, deputies badge me. That's not deputies badge. That's blood of the seraphs. It's another blood of the seraphs. Oh, I'm getting hit hard. Goliath blaster. Two Goliath blasters actually. So see, see if we can get back up. And get this in my primary hand and then fight for my life, me. Slag him, hopefully. There we go. Now the Orphan Maker should pop. Okay, the Raging Blasters, they they survived the Tunguska, but they they lost their heads. Why is that not one-shotting? There we go. I mean, guess I should be going for crits. Come on, get there. There we go. If I could get a, a deputy's badge, that would be oh so helpful. And this is a long stage. Come on, get me there. I probably should be running launchers if I really want to speed run it. Maybe uh, it might be a speed running adaptation I make. I'm not wasting any time here. I'm just gonna go straight to the Dunguska. There we go. And go to the next stage. Oh, Mopey's candy. Good. Three, two. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Mopey's candy is good. Hey, 1657? Not so bad so far. We're gonna stick with our our slag pistol here. It should do the, the most damage for us. Here we go. Maybe even go for both while we have Mopey's candy. Not sure how this guy is surviving, but he is. I have money shot I can take too, so I'm gonna grab that. There we go. Grab points into money shot. One, two, three, four. Good. Get some fire burst going out there. Fire burst. It's a glide blaster. Of course it is. Two glide blasters. You know, we just Tunguska. Not bad. Hide. Get back to my one slot. Fire burst me. Slag me. I could be going for Moxie Weapon, but I really want to increase my clear speed using Slag, so. Go, 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 Power Rangers. At least it's not a Glide Blaster. Okay. Bad at all. Don't get killed by a train here. I'm going to get right up on him with our, with our money shot. Good. 11 out of 15. Another long stage. Get across. Don't the train kill me. There we go. Good hit. Good hit. Money shot me. Oh, yeah. Come on. 13 out of 15. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know if this build has what it takes to kill the dragons, but here, we're doing it. 3, 2, 1. Tier 2 mobbing complete. What's my time? 18 minutes for tier 2 mobbing. I think my creek time was faster, but... We're definitely moving. Auto loader. And let's do. I want the bonus accuracy actually. It might be a little bit crazy. But the bonus accuracy might be kind of nice here. Wow. It's quite the launcher. I think I stick with Tunguska though. Alright, some lunatic bombers. They'll they'll kill themselves. There we go. Maybe some slag. Maybe some money shot on him. It's some it's a money shot. Whoa, lots of lunatics. Don't fall off the edge. There we go. Thank God for this extra max health, too. They're keeping me alive. 
Come on, get me there. Anybody around? You know what? Let's just switch to a Tunguska. Tunguska's been super clutch about fight for my life. I'll tell you what. Maybe we should go Moxie weapon here. Okay, you go down. No time to farm. No time to farm. Come on. We play for uniques. And then in tier 3, we can farm. Play for uniques, and tier 3, we farm. This time, we're staying alive. Ooh, yeah. Yellow candy is good. Yellow candy is good. I don't exactly have the best grenade for it. Probably. Okay, it's good. Get these grenades going. Assassin Wreath, you're going down, homie. don't feel so comfortable right now with this, but once I get my guns are back up, I feel a lot better. There we go. He's slagged. Now he should get bagged here shortly. There we go. Yellow jacket. No, thanks. Open up one of these. Transfusion grenade me. Transfusion grenade me. I honestly think a Tesla might be better. And where did that candy go right here? Three. Two, one grab. Layer of infinite agony. I think shock matters here. So let's do this. Take some points. Get down the skill tree. Lay waste might be, I think it's pretty good. Okay. Spawn in. Start chucking nades. go the more grenades down there you go she the sorcerer's daughter immediately enters her first immunity phase which i've been getting all the immunity phase bosses which is a little bit unlucky but we're cruising not bad yeah we haven't taken any scus we've hit the box we hit the box every single time my first time in sanctuary we're still not having any ammo problems you know just because salvador thanks Here she comes. Let's hit her with some stuff. I do not want her to heal, though. My one thing. I do not want her to be healing up. Heal juice, run for my life. Run. Okay, no heal juice for you. Go for the kill. There we go. She enters into her immunity phase once again. Good. Bum, ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -dum, ba -dum, boom boom all right reaper pretty easy round so far should i i should probably stick it out on this stage to see if i can if i can get a chaotic evil monk class mod or something like that hey stop hitting me there we go let's just get some more grenades out there as long as she doesn't heal juice off me i think i should be fine heal juice here comes run 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 okay her hero juice attack is over which means now we just destroy her there we go any loot any loot any loot any loot nothing from there ethereal gift box me sheriff's badge is nice blockhead is good too the triketra is a really high damage shield if you can get right on top of somebody maybe i should take it okay i think Farming the stage for a better class mod might be actually worth it. Run. We gotta we, we gotta hustle our bustle though. Come on. Chaotic Evil Monk class mod. No mimics. Reverise slag transfusion. Sure. Let's just take it. Come on, come on, come on. More grenages. Open up you. I'm ready for Mimic if it pops. There it is. Okay, let's go next. Three, two, one. Very nice. Our time for tier two bossing is 24-22. Not bad. Let's hit the box. Not the best gear. Come on. Something, something to take me over the edge here. I don't really like the... I think... 
maybe bada boom over Tunguska for a fight for my life purposes. Ooh, wow. Nukem, I like bada boom though. Okay, again, once again using all of our SDUs. Oh, class mod's good. Legendary Berserker. Let's take that. Perfect. And now let's take a little bit of grenade SDU and head into the next stage. All right, Power Pete, we're going to want to use our B shield here for sure. B shield me. And I don't know if this shotgun's going to have what it takes to get the job done. Maybe this yellow jacket will be a little bit better. Do I have anything to increase my crit damage? This volcano gives 120%. I don't have anything shocked that's that strong. Hey, come on. Let's take... Two piping hot. There we go. Take one point each of these, and I'm going to take more points into hard to kill. We should be able to do this. I want to get him slagged up, though. I don't have any way to slag on me right now at the current moment. Slaggity, slag, slag. I got pretty unlucky with both my bosses. With both of my bosses that I that I rolled to saying. That was pretty effective. Hey, how come these spider ants are spawning already? Ruining my beast shield. I'm not gonna get hit by this dot. Thank you. Okay. Hit him, hit him with the dot. I hit him with the slag. Hopefully my shield comes back up soonish. Holy cow. Yeah, this guy takes no damage. None. I think that the strat might honestly be to play for power-ups, because even this yellow jack isn't doing anything. Play for power-ups. Now, I'm going to have to re-think about my strategy here. Slag, and maybe it is... Maybe it is my synergy that I got before. Where do it be? The synergy. Is it gone forever? Thought I had it. There it is. Diamond Synergy. Let's slap that on. And let's put on my Pistol Damage Relic. And for healing purposes, if we need it, the good touch. Okay. Let's go into Gunzerk now. Where's my slag? Thank you. I was going to say. I would love, at this point, to get any sort of power up. Any color. Any color will do. It's, oh, I didn't get off. There we go. I don't know why sometimes it, it, for some reason, it swaps my guns around and sometimes it doesn't swap my guns around. I have no idea what causes that. Feels like it's random. To me, it feels random. Okay. No power-ups, which is sad. I'm still taking a ton of damage. Like, I'm taking a ridiculous amount of damage from something. I'm not too sure what it is. No power-up so far. Just very sad. Come on, go down. Ooh. Still no power-ups. I don't want to have to beg. I'm running out of pistol ammo, though. Okay, not bad. I take that Hornet. But I what I would like more than anything is a power-up. Any color will do. Oh, yellow. Okay. Just grab a transfusion. Grab a transfusion. Grab this yellow. And start chucking. Start chucking. We just need to get them to blow up on him. There we go. And he should go down here. 
A little bit of framey. A little bit of framey with all these transfusions going out. But this is a great way to kill him. Come on. And it heals us. So if we can get through tier 2 bossing, that would be sick. Okay. Down goes Frazier. What do you drop for me? Power P. Anything? Anything Dece? Infection Cleaner? Nope. A uh, practicable interface with a bandit grip. That might be something decent. Only problem is that I can... It's it's definitely like a, a kill the dragon style weapon. Ooh, Florentine's nice too. It's, it's better than what I've got for... Definitely better than what I've got for bringing down dragons. Uh, let's roll. Three, two, one. All right, 30 minutes in. My best time ever for the entire run was 38-38. So, I definitely slower than my Krieg run, but that's okay. On to difficulty tier 3, 30 minutes and 40 seconds in. And we're, here we go. Now, tier 3 is when we start getting access to the best loot in the game. So, that's what I'm looking for. Pressure plate, pressure plate, pressure plate. That's the number one thing we're on the... Num number one thing we're looking for. Okay. I also want to need some shotgunners to use and maybe even a... A deputy's badge would go pretty crazy. There we go. Use our beast shield. A little bit here. I don't know if I have the ammo regeneration to keep this thing topped off. But of course we can try. This guy is beating me up, dude. And he's hiding inside the wall too. Yeah, it's just beating me up. I think what I might do is put on... I might put on the good touch for slagging. I'm not so sure. Right, we're going to grab this pressure plate, though. It's very, very important. Okay. Grab this. Electric chair grenade. Yeah, that's my new grenade. I think that the unicorn explosion could be good. The butcher is good, too, but I'd rather have the interfacer. Okay, let's roll. Come on, feel the noise. B-Shield is quite helpful for this, this situation as well. Here we go. Let's go. Three, two, one. I probably should have checked what the reward was. It's, it's a lot of times it's a unique, and if I can get like a Lady Fist or like a Pimpernel, it'd be sick. Okay, let's go Insight here. And I'm the Juggernaut for one. Now, what I need more than anything is a Deputy's Badge. Electric chair grenade, gonna go out there and do some big damage. Some big damage. Okay. Definitely liking the deeps we're putting out. Definitely liking those deeps. I believe the pressure plate is somewhere up here. Like if you can jump on here, then up here. End of here. Aya! Okay, pressure plate me. What do you got? Okay, peak opener makes a lot of sense. I think we can get away with going peak opener for sure. Gonna speed up our clear quite a bit and help us with our, you know, getting the best possible speed run time. Peak opener me. Good. Okay. Get a tidal wave and then we slap more points into some of these skills over here. I think the right side skill tree has a lot to offer most of the time. Immortal Woods, I have explosive damage. I think explosive damage is what I need to get through this, so. And I know where the, I know where the borderland symbol is here, so I'm hoping to get something that can give me some assault rifle, um, assault rifle damage. We go. We just do so much damage now with this peak opener. It's an excellent weapon to get. Okay. Come up you. It might be a it, that might be a mimic. It might not be. What would we get? Blood of Terra Morphus and Deputy's Badge. Would you look at that? Very nice. That'll help out my interfacer. And my next time at the boxes, I'm not actually going to hit the boxes much. I'm just going to 
full SDUs as much as possible. There we go. Down goes Frazier. Yeah, down goes Frazier. Okay, that's it. Three, two, one. And that's tier three mobbing out of the way. On the tier three bossing. And we don't hit Oni, which means we should be fine. Health regeneration helps. And let's get some movement speed while we're in Gunzer. That's going to be really helpful against dragons too. They don't want to walk too far forward while those grenades are going off. They rinsed. Show me the boss. There we go. There's Mr. Boss Man. Mr. Boss Man. Bring me a dream. I've got a peak opener for you. It's insane. All right. Down goes the, the boss. I still have to kill one more enemy. So anyways, I started blasting. No, don't go down. Okay. Six, six, six. Ooh, Legendary Hoarder makes a little bit of sense, actually. All right. So let's do movement speed and gun zerk. Let's go Tyrannosaurus. All right. Three, two, one. Dragon Keep might be a bit of a struggle for me, just because that this, this a couple of these guys resist different variation forms of damage, but this guy is going to get absolutely one shot by my peak opener. This is without assault rifle damage or anything like that to pair with it. Just by the way. Uh, so this next guy resists shock. So I'm probably going to be swapping over to my interfacer. As long as I can kill him here, be fine. Thank you. Swapping over to Interfacer. Where did you go? And Deputy's Badge. Thank you. Okay. B-Shield me. Not bad. B-Shield damage there. Good. Stay on the main boss if we can. I seem to get my shots lined up so they hit perfectly, and then I'll be doing match major da damage to him. Hey, where's my where's my guns are cooldown, huh? Oh, don't hit me with these skulls. They're homing, homing skulls, huh? Sixty-nine rounds left. I, I'm no problem using iridium here. No problem at all using iridium here. There we go. Down goes Fraser. And we have a Pyrex candy. I will take this to help me get through this boss faster. All right, what I need to do is switch to my peak opener here. Swap. Can you get out of my face? It looks like I got sucked in right there. Peak opener's not doing that much right now. Toss some grenades out. Toss some grenage. More. Make sure he stays up slagged. Ow. Come on. This gun, unfortunately, it does a lot of his damage after he falls to the ground. And he's just not falling on the ground at all. There we go. If he's on the ground, we're going to be doing a lot more damage to him. We probably want to take Blood of the Saras while we're here. It'll help our regen. Come on, get me through this boss. It shouldn't be that hard. You got to get through this guy. Thank you. More grenages, please. I shouldn't be I should not be taking this much damage, realistically. Dang it. Perfect for my lights are gonna go really fast now. But I Oh no 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 no. Not good. Okay, first things we gotta do is get this Miss Moxie's gun out here. And toss grenades. So it's okay if he's not slagged. We'll get him re-slagged up real fast. Get the moxie gun back out. Thank you. There we go. Down goes Fraser. 
Ethereal gift box me. Transform makes some sense. Okay, let's roll. Three. No, I don't want to respec. I need to head to the next stage. Three, two, one. Okay, tier three bossing is done. 39 minutes. Really not so bad. Um, hitting up box isn't the way here. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be... Assault rifle. Cap it. Shotgun. Cap it. Pistol. Grenage. Launcher. Definitely need more launcher ammo. Okay, let's go. Dragon fight me. Three, two, one. Woo, here we are. The dragons. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. I have a bee shield to start us off here. Get Mr. Green down. Mr. Green's officially down. Let's go ahead and start my my slag -a lag action. He's not slag. He might be slag. He might not be. Why is he leaving already? He didn't even summon any lads. He literally summoned in no lads. I was gonna say, that's cheating. <laughs> You're supposed to summon in lads. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever have my B shield up for this fight. Let's go evolution. Come on, heal up. Heal up. How did I not heal up? I have the... I have... A peak opener out. That's fine. We should be able to heal up off this guy right here. There we go. Toss some Grenage. We need to get Mr. Green back. Mr. Green, Mr. Green, Mr. Green. And... Red drops? That's not good. We don't really want red on the ground, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and slag him, and then we're going to try to bag him. Okay, there's our slag. And we're going to try to bag here. Do as much damage to red as we possibly can. Thank you, Evolution Shield. Yep. That's a lot of damage. And we're, we're quite fast as we spin around circles here. Come on. Some good damage off on this guy. He might bail. I honestly don't need to be shooting my Mismoxies at all. Okay. Don't go down. Don't go down. I got no lads. I got no lads. I got no lads. I got one lad. If I can get green down to give me some more lads, that'd be nice. Thank you. Toss a nade out. We're still alive. Ah, shoot. We do go down. That's bad news because we're going to want to probably destroy one of these lads. Okay, he goes down. Peek opener, mate. There we go. We have officially have one dragon killed. One dragon is down. We can probably bring down a healing at the next in the interface room. Yep. Let's go ahead and let's get the interface route. And that's going to mean Debbie's badge. This guy should be on the ground now. Yeah. I don't have slag on him. Let's get some slag on him. He's slagged. Why do my guns get swapped all the time? I, I'll never understand that. Why they're getting swapped like that. There we go. Land crits. Land crits. There we go. I live here. I live here. My gun circle will be back up cooldown no, shortly, I think. There we go. We take down Blue. I don't think we should let him live here. Just stake on him. Even if it's even if it's costing us a lot of ammo, just stick on Blue here. There we go. Blue goes down. Now we can try to get down Purple, I think. Mr. Purple, give me some blammo. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, purple's on the ground. We can't slag him anyway, so there's no point in trying. Yes. Okay, interface for me. 
A little bit better than the peak opener here. I didn't get any assault rifle bonus damage for the interface or anything like that. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Still got two lads. Don't think we'll need them. Might actually use one of them for a kill skill here. There we go. Use them for kill skills. Good. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little bit of uh, slag action. So when I swap back, I shouldn't be swapped. There we go. I didn't. I don't think I actually slagged him, did I? Oh, he definitely was. All right, nice. Dragons go down. Time on the clock is 45.22. I hit F2, see a little fireworks. And I stop the timer as soon as I see the rogue lands complete objective marker pop up on screen. So let's get a nice clean jump up the pyramid here. Huge. Absolutely huge to get a nice clean round here with Salvador. Hey, okay, stop the timer. Stop the timer. 45-45. A really nice time, actually. Wow, I really like that. Very, very nice. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.